So today we've been at Revo with um, Guy Ralph of Driven Shooting. I brought a ladies team up here today. It's a beautiful place. It's got beautiful terrain, beautiful topography. I thought the ladies would really enjoy a day here. First time we've ever really done a full team of all ladies. It's lovely to see all the ladies out and it's nice to uh, see that there's plenty coming through the ranks. Talking with Rachel, there was just a huge opportunity to get involved with um, lady shooting. There's a lot of girls that have got into clay bird shooting and game bird shooting, but don't know how they can take that next step, so we've just made that easy. We've organised in excess of 100 days a year shooting for syndicates, and we've put together this day where we're sharing pegs, 16 girls. I was a little bit scared this morning when I looked out and saw that it was snowing, but the team at Revo handled it perfectly. They presented some great birds for us. I've been a little bit nervous, not quite knowing what to expect myself. I didn't want to be patronising, but I just wanted to make sure everybody felt comfortable and that they didn't feel silly if they wanted to ask any questions. They're all questions that somewhere along the eight years that I've been shooting, I have asked myself. Instead of just having eight people, we've halved the cost by sharing the pegs. It's more fun, you've got someone to talk to. It also keeps the safety factor because your buddy's keeping their eye on you and you're keeping your eye on them. And to be honest, it couldn't have gone any better than it has. Today we've fired an awful lot of shots. We haven't got a huge number of birds on the ground, but it's not about the birds on the ground, it's actually about the day. I feel it's really important to get more ladies into shooting. When I started shooting myself and there weren't many ladies in the field and now it's not uncommon to go join a team of guns and to be a lady shooting, whether it's a wife or someone's brought the daughter to have a go. It gives the sport a friendlier, more inclusive face. When people see ladies enjoying shooting, it opens the sport up to a lot more people. Game bird shooting's my passion and I see that for the future of the sport, we've got to be inclusive, so we've got to bring in youngsters and we've missed half the market. On so many days I see a lot of guys who are in the later years and we need to get fresh blood in it and girls just love it. I did get a little bit worried that perhaps the ladies thought the birds would be too testing, but not all. Game shooting has been seen to be a male sport. There's absolutely no reason that ladies can't get out into the field and be just as good as, if not better shots than the men. Running the day-to-day -day was important to me. It's something I'm really passionate about and I just think it's a really, really important tradition. The more girls we get involved, the more chance we've actually got to have another perspective put over to the public. And, and I mean, Rachel is exceptional as an ambassador. And today we've got lots of ladies who are um, passionate about it and want to do it and let's hope it grows. We'll, we'll certainly be doing lots more days like this next season. One of the main incomes of everyone who lives in Helmsley and the businesses around is supported by shooting. So it's so important to the local economy and to the land around here. So it's really nice that more people in general just contributing to that and keeping the sport alive. I've been quite surprised in the field today. The ladies have handled themselves really, really well. The ladies loved the fact that they're taking the birds home today. They're all already discussing the recipes and it's, it's been a really good day. Got some really cool memories to take home with them.